Have you ever thought about moving your call center online? No? Why not? A remote worker is more productive, communicative, satisfied with their work-life balance, and save around $11,000 a year by eliminating expenses like rent and office supplies. On top of that, the quality of customer support remains the same. So online call centers are quickly becoming a cost-effective solution to providing customer support because the agents can work from anywhere, house, coffee shop, co-working space, or any other third-party location. There are way more reasons to opt for an online call center, like serving customers in another country, getting access to more talent, reducing costs, and keeping morale high. With an online call center, you can hire operators to support customers in the same time zone, which means that you can also hire talented operators from all over the world. And the lack of a physical office means that you save on rent, office supplies, utilities, hiring IT, all of that. On top of that, remote workers have been shown to be happier and have higher levels of job satisfaction. Now, if I've convinced you to give it a try, here's how to get started. Number one, hire remote workers or train your employees. The first step in creating a virtual call center is to hire a great team. If your company serves international customers, you can hire operators from different countries to support customers during local business hours. This means you can search for candidates on international job boards. And yes, the task of hiring remote workers might be easier if you only serve domestic customers, but now you have the option to expand abroad. When the team is assembled, you need to ensure they have the proper skills to provide quality support. The same goes for your existing employees. If your office-based customer support needs to make the transition to work from home, they may need additional training to complete their tasks in a new environment. The most important thing about training and onboarding operators is having an online resource space. It should serve the same purpose as a self-service resource space, but include instructional videos and written guidelines for the operators. Ideally, you need to resource space with the following. An overview of your customer support processes. This will help you better understand how customer support works at your company. Responsibilities of team leaders and operators. This will help everyone understand who's in charge of what so that anyone can ask for help if they need it. A description of your products or services. It is generally good business practice for your workers to know how your product or service works and adds value. Basic rules and conversation guidelines. Remote workers need to know how to talk to customers and best handle different situations. Instructions on how to use the software. Prepare guides and other resources to help with using support tools and other software utilized by the team in their work. Share this resource space with your remote operators and conduct training sessions for each of these points. This will help ensure they are best prepared to serve customers well. Number two, provide access to a cloud-based phone system. A cloud-based call system uses virtual VOIP, or VOIP, which stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. It's the perfect option for a virtual call center because the call occurs through the internet via a special app on your computer rather than a traditional phone line. Unlike regular landlines, VoIP systems are cheaper and easier to install, even through third-party providers, because they don't require any on-premise hardware, which means that you don't have to pay for maintenance or infrastructure. However, to use a VoIP number, you do have to buy them through a provider, but there are plenty of options when it comes to this. Google Voice and Ring Central, just to name a few, and the process is the same for all of them. Buy a virtual number, register your VoIP system, top up your balance, and make and accept calls. Thanks to a cloud-based system, your operators can work from everywhere, and you'll only be charged for internet, which will significantly reduce costs. Number three, use a CRM to keep track of customers and conversations. A virtual call center CRM connects all operators through a single platform and automates the procedure of processing incoming calls, ticketing, and routing. It can help with keeping track of conversations, ticketing, managing customer information, and other support activities. With the CRM, your call center operators will be able to view, add, or change information to customer profiles, which will make them better equipped to respond to those customers. Some CRM features to consider are the following. Inbound and outbound calls. Apart from inbound calls, your CRM should make it easy for operators to view and store data from outbound calls. Help desk ticketing. This feature adds with categorizing customer inquiries, pending, completed, etc. so that operators can better organize their work. Call recording. By analyzing conversations, you can track the quality of customer support and collect customer feedback. Number four, make working easier with special apps. Virtual call center operators can face unique challenges such as distractions and excessive background noise. To make completing their tasks easier, consider investing in noise canceling, co-browsing, and VPN tools. Let's start with noise canceling apps. Many customer support operators have a problem with background noise that even noise canceling headphones can't solve. An app like Crisp suppresses background noise in real time. Operators can use it to minimize excessive noise from their end as well as that coming from the customer. The app is super easy to use. Just activate the mute noise feature on your microphone or speakers by talking toggling the switch. And Chris makes it possible for your operators to work from anywhere, home, coffee shop, co-working space, park that somehow has Wi-Fi, and still be able to control the background noise. Next are co-browsing apps. Have you heard of first call resolution rate, or FCR for short? It's the percentage of customer inquiries that were resolved on the first call. 
The higher your FCR is, the higher your customer satisfaction is. To maximize FCR, you need a co-browsing app. It gives the customer the option to share their screen with the operator to help solve problems with software or using a website. The operator has no control over the customer's screen, but can view movements and clicks. This allows them to help solve complex problems on the first try, thus increasing FCR. Moving on to our third category, we have VPNs. Every time your remote operator works from a public Wi-Fi, like at a coffee house or that magical park, they need to use a VPN to secure their data. Give your operators access to a reliable VPN in case they have to use public Wi-Fi. Some of the most popular options with 30-day free trials are NordVPN, ProtonVPN, and ExpressVPN. There have been a lot of lists within this list, but we've come to the end on how to start a virtual call center. Number five, use chatbots for repetitive questions. Chatbots are virtual assistants that help customers by answering common inquiries 24 seven. Basically, a chatbot is a customizable dialogue widget on a website that customers can access all the time to get assistance. They can save resources, answer questions around the clock, get emails from inquirers, and connect them to operators. This makes them perfect for small businesses with limited resources. All right, we've done it. We've reached the end. So. With everything I've talked about, the bottom line is that moving your call center online is a cost-effective solution to expand your business while maintaining the quality of your service. We hope that these tips will help you make the transition easier, and if you have any tips of your own, please share them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and please be sure to check out some of our other videos. Thanks again, take care.